Breaking news now on Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. We are just now learning she has undergone uh, new treatment for cancer. So we don't have a lot of information right now. Let's go first to our Supreme Court uh, reporter, Ariane DeVogue. And Ariane, what do you know? Right, we've just gotten this statement from the court that said that she has completed uh, radiation therapy for uh, a tumor in her pancreas. It was uh, detected in early July. Uh, the court said uh, Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg today completed a three-week course of uh, radiation therapy at Sloan Kettering. The focused radiation treatment began in August 5th and was administered on an outpatient uh, basis. Uh, she says that uh, she is continuing right now to be active. The tumor was treated definitively and there is no evidence of disease elsewhere in the body. Uh, Brooke, of course, this comes after she was diagnosed with lung cancer in 2018. That's all the information we have. And of course, it comes just a couple months before the new term is about to start. Okay, so Ariane, stand by. Elizabeth Cohen is with me. Um, and just, she, she's having watched RBG, our film, several times. You know, they tell the story of how she, she beat cancer twice. And then, as Ariane just pointed out, had the, the issue with her lung just more recently. Right, colon cancer, lung cancer, and now, we, and we're hearing, well, not for the first time about pancreatic cancer, but we're hearing this new news about her treatment, uh, this particular treatment for pancreatic cancer. You know, this is, this is obviously um, news that you, uh, that you don't want to hear. It sounds as they said that this has been uh, treated, and they use the word um, def uh, radiation treatment. They also use the term no evidence of disease, also known sometimes as, as NED. And, you know, that's a term, and it's difficult to say this, because when you hear no evidence of disease, you think, oh, it's gone. But, Brooke, the reality of this is that people can have NED, no evidence of disease, that just means at that point in time that you're looking, there is no evidence of disease. Unfortunately, especially with something like pancreatic cancer, mm -hmm. which can be so aggressive, then you look six months later and you do find it. So you wanna, you wanna think about this in a sort of a very balanced way. You don't wanna think something terrible, but on the other hand, you do wanna realize that NED, no evidence of disease, that's what's going on right now. It doesn't say what's gonna go on in the future. Okay, Ariane, back over to you, you know, this is, uh this is an 86-year-old woman. A lot of people have been watching for her, praying for her health, you know, um, as, as onlookers are wondering, you know, how does this work? What, what might this mean for the court? Well, what's amazing about this is how active she has been and how forthcoming she has been with her cancers. Uh, the Supreme Court is starting a new term on October 4th. It's a big term with lots of blockbuster issues. Uh, last time around, the most recent bout of cancer, she did miss a staying on the bench uh, for the first time in her career, but she's been back. She's been back on the speaking tour. I want to read you a little bit more from the statement that we got sure. from the court. Uh, it says, the abnormality was first detected after a routine blood test in early July, and a biopsy performed on July 31st at Sloan Kettering confirmed a localized malignant tumor. So that's the information we got. Uh, again, uh, the Supreme Court uh, just issued this statement, and it comes as Ruth Bader Ginsburg has a full schedule this uh, summer. She was going on speaking tours, as she often does. Uh, the court did say that she is put off her annual uh, vacation uh, that she takes in uh, Santa Fe, uh, but we'll have to see. It looks like uh, we'll get more information soon, but this is just in. Okay. Um, you want to add to that yeah, really quickly? I think what Ariane just said is very important, that this is not a frail woman. This is someone who has been active, who has been out there, and that matters. When you're battling cancer, what condition you're in matters. Yeah, we've seen her in the video holding the plank poses. Right. right. She's a top 86-year-old. 